I came across an interesting video yesterday that kind of changed my view on things because I don't know what's going on in the Middle East at all. Um, I don't know what's happening with the wars and stuff. Um, but yeah, this guy was making out that Christianity was dying and dead and everyone's falling away from it. And it's, it's strange because I'm seeing quite a lot of YouTube videos that are Christian videos. But then again, it might just be because I'm typing in certain things to find Christian videos because I want to know when people think that Jesus is coming because I'm Christ and I'm just constantly looking for the date on when um, when people are going to expose me as being the true Christ. Um, and, and therefore, I'm constantly wanting to know this date, hence why I'm typing in certain things, not because I agree with what the people are saying, but because they are all trying to predict when the coming of this Christ is going to be. And I want to know this date too, because that is when I will be coming. Um, so it's, yeah, that's why I'm typing in what I type. But because of that, I do see quite a lot of videos and therefore I'm feeling like Christianity is growing in numbers. Um, I'm, I am watching lots of videos about the Illuminati and stuff, but the majority of videos that I see about the Illuminati are people saying that it's bad, that it's evil, run by Satan. And the more they promote Satan, you know, they think they're um, doing a good thing, but really they're just kind of encouraging more and more people to become Christian. And therefore, from my view, I'm seeing that Christianity is actually on a rise, but that might not be the truth, you know. Um, I, I have noticed that if I subscribe, sub subscribe to something, a lot of the videos come through are from that partic particular subscription. Um, and and therefore, if, if people are actually falling away from Christianity, um, I don't know, I'm not really seeing that many videos about that because I, I feel like a lot of people make videos because they have a message and they want people to believe in their message. Hence, there's going to be a lot of Christians online, whereas in life, there might not actually be that many Christians because they're not the people that are trying to spread messages. Hence, they're not going on YouTube to make videos. Hence, maybe I'm getting a wrong perspective of how many there are on the rise of Christianity. Um, but yeah, this video, this guy was basically saying that it's Christian, it's, Christ, it's Christianity, Islam, or atheism, or transgender, and people do want to believe in a God because there's too many, there's too much evidence to say that there is a God. And then he was kind of saying that that's just making people fall to Islam. I'm glad that he sees that as that way because I feel like there is going to be a choice between Christ, Jesus, or me. Um, but yeah, I haven't really touched on Islam because I'm not Islamic. I'm I'm probably Islamophobia because I don't agree with covering women. Um, and I think that's um, an insult to women, you know, uh, and, and I think to say it like that is um, a way that said a way of saying it whilst giving a good explanation for why I wouldn't like it. And therefore, I feel like Islam people who worship it will, will respect that view. Um, I don't like the veil. I don't like the covering. Um, there's quite a lot of things I don't like in religion. But I think one of the problems with Christianity is that it is actually the same God. You know, this video that I was watching, they, he was saying that he's not against Christianity because he sees them as brothers. Um, OK, they, they haven't got all the truth that they're, they're worshipping a slightly different version of, of who they see God is. But he was saying that they are very similar and they are worshipping the same God. And, and I agree, they are worshipping the same God. And I think this is why, although there is wars in in everywhere, there's wars everywhere. Um, this is why there isn't complete chaos in the world because people see Christianity and Islam as having some similar traits. You know, they both stem from Abraham. They both believe in Adam and Eve. They both believe in some sort of Bible and book that is the word of God or the word of God channeled through an angel. There's two versions. Um, but yeah, I, I, you know, the, the, this is the reason why there's not complete chaos in the world because the two major religions back each other up in, in ways. And and I, I I think the further back you go, the worse of a person you are because the things were back bad in the past. People didn't have knowledge or truth. Um, and and yeah, to believe in things that happened 2000 years ago, like Christianity, you know, I think that's madness. It, to think that that's more important than what's going on in, in today's life. And, and uh, but people are saying that, oh, it's very similar. It's all the same stuff. And it, and it is kind of all the same stuff. But that doesn't mean that that God is the same God or, or that that was the truth back then. And um, but yeah, is, Islam is um, they believe in Moses, I think. And, and I, I think they have a different telling of things. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm not for it, of course, um, because I, I'm not against I'm against religion in, in, in total in, in all of all of it. But. I think people turning away from Christianity 
um, is, is very a good thing. But he was like, these are inverted. So he was saying that people turning away from Christianity means that they're turning towards transgenderism and atheism. And it's just like, well, that, that doesn't mean that. But he was seeing it that way. And I don't know if he's actually someone who believes in what he's preaching or if he's just trying to get people to become Muslims for um, the sake of, of them turning away from, from God. But I, I don't know. Um, when it comes to what's going to happen with them, it, it is up to what the leaders agree and what they choose. Um, I, and and I, I think um, it has to be them who decide it. Um, but they, the people have made their choices on what they believe in. If they didn't believe in it, they wouldn't support it. And I think because Christianity is only slightly different, Christians look at that and see similarities and therefore they don't see it as being complete a complete inversion of everything they'd be like well you, you both believe in it, adam and eve and we both think that eve was the wrong one for eating the eating the apple and we both think that god is male or, or masculine in, in its sense and they both you know put males above females because males were made first according to according to the bible um God made males, but that doesn't mean that she is a male. That means that she made males because she is a female. Um, but yeah, they don't see it that way. And and therefore they kind of are worshipping the same God in a way. Like it's changed and it's different and they have different beliefs and stuff. But it's all very worldly. Religion is a very worldly thing because the world has created religion, not God. God has inspired it. Mixed truth with lies and they, they take the lies and see seem that the, they, they see the truth or feel the truth and they think because they feel certain truth you know because they feel christians feel that christ is the, is the truth and because there's evidence in the bible that whatever evidence they think there is um you know that they they say that this must this is proof that jesus was the christ and it's just like well no it's not proof that jesus was the christ someone could be and it could be a prophecy it was all prophetic messages and it could all be about the future but yeah I don't want to make this too long, but um, yeah, that Islam is is complete inversion, and I think Christians don't see that because there is similarities in the religion and in the belief, and they both believe in Moses and all these fictional characters. Um, but yeah, 